Okay, what's up ladies and gentlemen? In this video, we're going to be seeing how good the AI is for coding up PineScript. In particular, we have a MACD indicator and we're going to run some tests on it using ChatGPT and the Claude 3.5. Now, I've just started testing these out and I want to show you guys how well they work and how well they don't work. So this is the indicator. This is what I have so far. It is a dynamic Mac D and essentially it's got two settings. You can use the built-in SMA to make the Mac D or a EMA. And what makes this special, this dynamic Mac D is the dynamic part. So if we unclick this, you get your regular Mac D here based off of your standard 12 26 and 9 settings but when it's dynamic it filters out these smaller little humps here and here based on the length of bars and it makes the MACD a little more stable okay so I want to add in divergence between these peaks and troughs here I want this MACD indicator to show me when there is divergence and I'm going to have the AI do that for me, hopefully. That's what we're going to try. Okay, well, let's just go ahead and do that. So I'm assuming this is a task you would want to do with PineScript. Obviously, the AI can do very basic things, but can it do moderately advanced things? So I'm going to go ahead and copy the code. I'm going to go over here to chat GPT. And I want to say, let's go, hey can you find the divergence points for this code for this code or can you code query counts can you code that divergence points in this pine script indicator I want to find the divergence between the MACD peaks and troughs. I want to mark the and here is the code. We might need a couple tries on this, but let's go. Oh, and I'll do these little backslashes here. This is how you create code. All right. There we go. Sure, I can help you. All right. It's giving me some modified script. So far, there's nothing new. Okay, function to identify peaks and troughs. So this is the new code. Peak, TA highest, value when. All right, so it's using version five, that's good. MACD peaks and troughs. MACD peak, MACD trough. Price peaks. And it's gonna give us just bullish and bearish, which is fine. We don't need to worry about hidden divergences right now. So let's just copy that come back to trading view and we're just going to paste it in here I think I pasted it there we go so we just paste it in there I'm gonna save it let's just remove this part okay and remove that and that okay that's the script and it should be marking the divergences with a shape Dynamic deck D with divergence. It's on the chart right now, right here. So I don't see any shapes. Let's see. Is there any divergence anywhere here? Let's go down to the one hour time frame and see if we can find some divergence. So we have maybe the high here is 71939. So this is higher. So technically there would be divergence between these two. But we're not getting any indication here. And if we open up the data window over here, you can see the shapes. Those are the bullish and bearish divergences. And we're not getting any ones or zeros. Nothing's showing up over here. So it gave us some code, but it didn't do what we wanted it to do, okay? So what's up? What's going on here? It seemed like it, it understood the task. Bullish divergence. It's finding the peaks of the MACD left and right. 
MACD peak. What do you do if you don't know how to code PineScript at this point? Like, obviously, I can figure it out because I know PineScript. But if you don't know PineScript, what do you do? You go back to ChatGPT and be like, hey, it's not working. I don't know. And then we could try Claude. Cloud, whatever you want to call it. Can you add uh, divergence and convergence to this indicator between so that I can identify the divergences between the Mac D peaks and troughs. Here is the code. Nope, that's not the code. Try the same thing with this one. So I'll go back to version one here. I'll grab this again, stick it in Claude. Okay. So what did ChatGPT say? In this version, the peak and trough functions use the TA highest and TA lowest functions to determine the peaks and troughs over a specified range. Left plus right plus one. This approach should correctly identify divergent points by comparing the current MACD and price peaks and troughs with previous ones. So it knows what it's doing. It knows what it's talking about because that's how you do divergence. But does it work? Let's see. So let's just put this one in here. So I'm just going to replace everything again and save that. And what are we getting a shape? What is this? Plot shape, bearish divergence, location, shape, label down. Let's change the size here to something that we can see. Size dot huge. I'm not seeing anything. Location, label up, plot shape. Let's just try this. Plot car, bullish divergence. Title, bull div. And bear div we're getting something that's true over here and we're getting that one for bearish divergence right here but it's weird because nothing's popping up in this indicator now oh, there we go it's popping up way up there okay all right so it plotted it incorrectly let's see how accurate this is and let's actually fix this to let's bring this down to the MACD trough, or this one's gonna be the MACD trough. Bearish divergence, no, MACD trough and MACD peak. So we're just plotting it in the wrong spot. I think the location is wrong too. Okay, we're, we're getting somewhere that we had to do some modifications. Let's change these sizes, auto, auto. I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. Absolute. This should put it right where the MACD peak and troughs are. If the code was done correctly. Okay. Not really. Uh, we're getting lots of bearish divergence, but that doesn't look right at all. Why would we have bearish divergence here? I let's see if we look closely that's lower and that's higher there's no divergence here but it says there is so even though we had to fix the code the code is still wrong so chat GPT cannot do that for us. Maybe we can keep on asking it to do it over and over again until we get it right. But you're going to have to know some Pine script to do this. You can't just ask ChatGPT to code your Pine script for you. Unless it's something super simple. Let's see what Claude said. Where's Claude at? Cloud? Okay. So we got cloud over here. 
and here we go divergence detection looks like some very simple just pivot high pivot low very simple okay let's just give it a shot let's see what cloud's got i'm just going to go ahead and delete everything copy paste all right save what do you got cloud what do you got all right so it's giving us bearish bullish and bearish convergence wouldn't okay all right it plotted it correctly so good job cloud and we have let's see if it works what what is that how is there bearish divergence right here how is it no this doesn't work doesn't work so if you want to do anything even remotely complicated with AI in PineScript you just can't do it and I think that applies to all programming languages because I've tried to do PHP because I don't know PHP but I use it for my website and I spend hours just doing what I can but the simple things are nice if you need if you think you can get by with just ChatGPT or cloud AI, uh, we're not there yet. So you got to learn some PineScript. So I'm going to code up this divergence indicator on my own, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.